Hello class, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I would like to take a look at a practice problem from chapter 6 that covers relative velocity. So let's go ahead and get started. The distance between Oklahoma City and Dallas is 334 kilometers. A Nissan GTR leaves Oklahoma City and travels south at 120.7 kilometers per hour and a Nissan 300ZX twin turbo leaves Dallas at the same time traveling north at 138 kilometers per hour. So this problem is wanting us to solve three different things. In part A, it says calculate the relative velocity of the two cars traveling in opposite directions. So this is V subscript relative. In part B, when will the cars pass each other? So this is going to be the time, time interval, and I'm going to use a subscript of pass. So this will describe at what time the cars pass each other. Part C, where will the cars pass each other? And this is going to be with respect to Dallas. So this is going to be north of Dallas, but respect to Dallas. So I'm going to say, D, uh, let's say, respect to Dallas. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is draw a simple picture of our cars and which directions they're headed in. So, we know Oklahoma City is north of Dallas and the distance between the two cities is 334 kilometers. So let's go ahead and provide a dimension here. Make sure you put your correct units here. And then we have a GTR headed south with a velocity of 120.7 kilometers per hour. And then we have a 300ZX twin turbo. And it is headed north at 138 kilometers per hour. Okay, now we have our velocity in units of kilometers per hour, but we know we need to convert this to units of meters per second. So what we need to do now is use dimensional analysis to convert our units to meters per second. So let's start out with the velocity of the GTR. It is 120.7 kilometers per hour. So using dimensional analysis, let's go ahead and convert the distance first. So in one kilometer, we have 1,000 meters, and I have a unit of kilometer in the numerator and a unit of kilometer in the denominator, so we know that these units will cancel. Now we're still in units of hours here, and we want to convert that into seconds. And we know that there's 3,600 seconds in every hour, so I have the unit of hours in my denominator, so that means we need units of hours in the numerator here. So in one hour, we have 3,600 seconds, and these units of hours right here are going to cancel. Okay, so now all we need to do is calculate the velocity of the GTR, but since we're at this step of dimensional analysis, let's go ahead and set up the velocity of the 300ZX twin turbo. So we know that it's traveling at 138 kilometers per hour. So I'm going to say V sub, I'm just going to label this 300, and this is 138 kilometers per hour. Once again, we're going to perform dimensional analysis. We're going to set it up the same way because we're converting from kilometers per hour to units of meters per second. So we know that there are 1,000 meters in every kilometer. And in one hour, we have 3,600 seconds. Okay, 
So units of kilometers in the numerator here, and then kilometers in the denominator, those cancel. Units of hours in the denominator here, and one in the numerator, those cancel. Okay, so now we're ready to calculate our velocity in units of meters per second. So 120.7 times 1,000 is 120,700 divided by 3,600. So this gives us 33.52. And we are in units of meters per second now, okay? So the velocity of the 300CX twin turbo, I have 138,000 divided by 3,600 gives me 38.33 meters per second, okay? Now we know that relative velocity describes the difference in velocity of two objects, okay? So we can set up an equation if I have relative velocity. It's just the difference in velocity. So we have V2 minus V1, okay? So velocity two, we can set this up as the 300ZX twin turbo is our second car, and its velocity is 38.33 meters per second. So. 38.33 meters per second minus, let's take a look at velocity one. Now we know velocity is a vector, so we are required to show direction. And the velocity of our GTR is negative because my vector arrow is pointing in the negative y direction. So its velocity will be a negative 33.52 meters per second. Okay, so let's grab our calculator. So 38.33, and I have two negative signs, so this is going to turn into addition. So 38.33 plus 33.52 gives us 71.85 meters per second. going to erase here to free up some room. Okay, 71.85 meters per second is the relative velocity of our two vehicles. Part B, when will the cars pass each other? Well, what let's do is set up the old equation D equals V bar delta T. Okay, but let's apply some subscripts here to be more clear about what we're calculating, okay? So we're going to apply this old equation to our situation, okay? And so the distance here is going to be equal to the relative velocity multiplied by the time that they pass, all right? So what we want to do is isolate delta t subscript pass and we're going to do that by dividing by the relative velocity on both sides of the equal sign. So what we have here is delta t pass okay is equal to our distance divided by our relative velocity. Okay so delta t pass is equal to now, we know the total distance between Dallas and Oklahoma City is 334 kilometers, but our velocity is in units of meters per second right here. So what we need to do is convert from kilometers to meters, and we know that there's 1,000 meters for every kilometer. So we're going to simply multiply 334 by 1,000, and that's going to give us 300 34,000 meters. We're going to divide this by our relative velocity. So we're going to use our calculated value from part A, 71.85 meters per second. So let's talk about the numerical value first. I have 334,000 
divided by 71.85 meters per second. So we have 4,648.57. Now let's take a look at our units. So in my numerator, I have meters, which we can write as meters over one. We're dividing by meters per second. We know dividing fractions is like multiplying by the inverse of the denominator. So what I have is meters over one times seconds over meter. You can see that we have a meter in the numerator and a meter in the denominator. So they will cancel, leaving us with units of seconds. So the time that the two cars pass, 4,648.57 seconds. Okay. Next, we need to take a look at part C. So part C tells us that we need to calculate where the cars pass each other with respect to Dallas, okay? So we know that they pass at a time of 4,648.57 seconds. And we know that the velocity of the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo is 38.33 meters per second, okay? So um, I'm gonna say D, and this is respect to Dallas. This is going to be the velocity of the, the 300 ZX Twin Turbo multiplied by the time that the cars pass each other, okay? So the velocity of the 300 ZX, we calculated this earlier, 38.33 meters per second. And we know that they pass each other at a time of 4,648.57 seconds. Okay, so this is going to be, oh, I've got it right here, 178. 1,179.8 meters, and this is north of Dallas. Okay? Now, this is a pretty big number right here, and we could, we could convert this to kilometers, so I could say or and we know that there's 1,000 meters in every kilometer. So to convert it to kilometers, we would just divide by 1,000. So this would be 178.1798 kilometers. We really don't need this kind of precision, but, you know, kilometers. And this is north of Dallas. Okay? All right. Well, I hope uh, me solving this and walking through it helped you today. If you have any questions, please give me a call or send me an email. I would love to help you out. I hope you have a wonderful day.